Pure electric vehicles don't work for everyone. The Ford Escape plug-in hybrid does. I'm Tom Volk for the Seattle International Auto Show. For those looking to dip their toe into the electric car lifestyle, plug-in hybrids offer flexibility. Fully charged, this Escape goes 37 miles on electricity alone, according to the EPA. Once the battery is depleted in the Escape plug-in hybrid, it defaults to a standard hybrid mode. No fuss, no muss. You don't have to do anything. The EPA rates it at 40 miles per gallon in this setting. Pretty good for a vehicle this size. The front wheel drive Escape plug-in hybrid uses a 2.5 liter four cylinder paired with a motor generator for a total of 200 horsepower. The electronic continuously variable transmission gets a setting for extra power regeneration when coasting, a little extra drag. The battery is floor mounted right here. In the default normal mode, the gas engine will kick on if you're heavy on the throttle. Escape can be forced into EV only performance, a hold mode to save battery power for later, or use the gas engine to charge the battery. Let's start out in EV only mode. Owners will probably want to use the electric only setting as much as possible to get the most efficiency out of this powertrain. But keep in mind that it's not using the gas engine. So in this setting, it's not going to be as quick off the line. This is fine for city driving because electric motors have a lot of torque and it feels quicker than it is. Now, if you put it into normal mode and put your foot hard into the throttle, the engine will spool up because you asked it to. Escape is fun to zip around in. Handling is quite good. And the eCVT does not have the rubbery dynamics that some continuously variable transmissions have. There's kind of a cool braking coach here. I'm going to stop nice and easy to get a good score. Ah, uh, not bad. And I will say that the pedal feel when you're going from regenerative braking to the actual physical disc brakes is really good in this vehicle. Before any federal or state tax credits, a base escape plug-in hybrid starts at $34,300. This fully loaded titanium model retails for $43. That includes heat for the wheel and supportive leather seats, a big glass roof too. Escape runs the SYNC 3 user interface. Nice that there's a volume knob and big buttons to help out. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are standard. The Bang & Olufsen sound system is quite good. For family duty, the back seat is pretty roomy. Plus, the seats slide fore and aft to maximize leg or cargo room. Speaking of, both the plug-in and standard hybrid escape have slightly smaller cargo holds because of the battery, but it's still roomy and useful. You can get chores done with this rig. The EPA says this will save owners $5,000 in fuel costs over five years, plug in every night, and it should go some 11,000 miles on electric power annually. 37 miles covers most daily driving. The gas side of the powertrain covers road trips. Win-win. Check out the Escape plug-in hybrid at your local Ford dealer, and you'll eliminate most trips to the gas station. For the Seattle International Auto Show, I'm Tom Volk.